Hey everyone, up for sale, we have a Mercedes GL450. And I'm uh, gonna do a quick walk around, show you the overall condition of this SUV. But uh, as you can see, it's in really good uh, condition. So it's in, it's in great shape, uh, looks very clean. Uh, overall, I don't see much of anything uh, looks out of the normal with it at all as far as paint or anything like that goes. But we're gonna get close up and just show you exactly so you can make a, uh, a good decision on this car. But uh, looking at the, the roof, or I'm sorry, the, uh, the hood, uh, the hood overall, it's a little bit, it's got a little bit of dust on it, but it, I don't see any uh, kind of uh, real scrapes or scratches or anything. Uh, even when I go up close uh, on the front here, you, know, you really don't see it, much of anything. And that's where usually, you know, any kind of like dings from the road and stuff will end up. And uh, we're gonna look down the, the driver's side. So the driver's side looks good. I'm gonna get close in here just so you can see everything. Um, looking at it with my, with my eyes, I don't, I don't see outside of the camera. I really don't see much of any kind of like dents or dings or anything. Uh, looks pretty good. So this does have just a little bit of dust on it. This this could be could use a good wash. But uh, other than that, all the stuff you see, you know, as you can see right there, that's just that's just dust. So. If I see anything that looks like a, a nick or a cut or anything, I'll, I'll tell you. Uh, going down here, look as you can see, just on the bottom it looks good. It's got the nice step to get in uh, to the car as well. And we're gonna go ahead and look at the, the tires now. So, tires are, are they're okay. They're, they're, they're not bad. Um, overall, they look, look to be in pretty good condition. The back ones don't have a whole lot of tread life left. The fronts have, have a lot more. Uh, the Lion Heart tire on the front there uh, looks good. It looks like they're <coughs> uh, looks like a different tire on the back, so maybe the fronts were replaced while they have a little more tread. But uh, let's go ahead and look on the back here. As you can see, it's got a nice tint to the window. It's the Formatic GL 450, and uh, there's no real uh, damage of any kind that I can see on the back. Looks good. It's got the dual exhaust. Uh, it's got the towing package, so you can tow stuff with this got a receiver hitch um, and now we're gonna look down the passenger side so overall uh, it all looks pretty shiny and everything it's just a, a little bubble of the clear coat there just want to take note of that looking at it here um, but other than that that's actually the only thing that I've noticed on this car of any kind of you know uh, paint discoloration or anything really so going down the side here you can see it all looks pretty good. I'm going to zoom out and look at, you know, overall. But we're going to go down and just kind of get a close-up of all the passenger doors and everything. But nothing jumps out to me uh, on this car as far as the paint. We look at the, the front tire. The front tire looks good. Look at the back tire. It's got a little less tread than the front. So I think that the fronts might were probably replaced at some point. But uh, other than that, you can see it's a real nice looking SUV. Uh, it's got a third row seat. We're gonna get inside and show you all the, the inner workings of this thing right now. So, um, as you can see, the, the driver door itself uh, is in good shape. I don't see anything wrong with that. Everything seems to be intact. The driver's seat uh, is in really good condition. Uh, great condition, I would say, for the year and everything. I don't see any cracking of the leather or anything there got your in middle console here and the passenger seat looks nice as well so everything looks good the drive uh, the passenger door is in good condition if you look up at the dash there's no cracking or anything uh, going on with the dash there uh, it's got a nice stereo and this thing only has 89,000 miles on it so it's got low miles look in the back here and uh, just looking at the door, you can see the door is in great condition. Um, looks like there's a little bit, just, just kind of go close up on there, on the back. There's just a little bit of something that looks like uh, there on the door, but it doesn't look like it affects anything, the functionality of it. Now look at these seats here. These look to be in great shape. I don't see anything off about the back seat at all. It all looks, looks to be in, in good condition. No cuts. Uh, looking over at the passenger side in the back looks good as well and as you can see it's got that third row seat 
which is pretty luxury for whatever kids might be back here. Um, it's very nice, very nice condition for the seats and everything. And it's got the, looks like a, like a moonroof or a sunroof right here uh, in the back. And then it's also got one in the front as well. So, and you can see that's got the vents in the middle. You know, these Mercedes are, are built to be comfortable. So everybody's gonna have a good ride in this SUV. Uh, I'm sure it's gonna <clears throat> have lots of great trips in the future for someone. And uh, this car is available on motorbox.com. You can either buy it for the listed price or you can uh, submit an offer and see if it gets accepted. Good luck, everyone, and uh, happy bidding.